Welcome to the Secret Garden of Survival and uh, some of you have asked how to uh, save blossoms and fruit from a f impending frost and uh, you see my last video where I show all the blossoms and all my fruit trees that are blossoming at that time it was in February we're at the very beginning of March here and uh, I've got uh, fruit trees that have already been pollinated and that already have some really small baby um, fruit on them and uh, we're going to uh, show you how you can save these things when you've got a frost coming the next day so what I've got here is a uh, hose tied to a pump irrigation system and uh, Got the sprinkler sitting here on my little pavilion, and um, what I'm going to do is when the, the temperature gets to be um, just about 32 degrees uh, tomorrow morning, about four o'clock in the morning, I think I'll be out here turning the stuff on, and uh, the sprinkler will basically soak these trees. That's a pear tree that uh, really has almost zero uh, blossoms left on it and uh, it's all little baby fruit baby pears on here which will freeze and die when the temperature goes down below 32 so I will uh, show you tomorrow morning be out here in the dark basically and uh, show you how we spray these things down but essentially the water gets on the fruit and it forms ice and that keeps the uh, the fruit right at 32 degrees and keeps it from going lower than that which would uh, if it went down below 32 much below 32 it would damage the fruit um, the fruit would in fact would freeze and expand and all the little cellular structure within the fruit would break and then you'd have uh, a bunch of dead fruit on your trees so so there's a uh, Another sprinkler head that's going to take care of that Nanking cherry right there, as well as uh, hazelnut. This is a uh, the white flowers. That's um, a kefir pear. This thing right in front of me right here is um, that is a blueberry, and there's another Nanking cherry down there. And the pink flowers are a, uh, a peach tree and this sprinkler will cover all of that. And I've got another line that runs downhill, runs down to one of the lower berms, and uh, I'll show you what that one covers as well. So I've got, uh, so I've got a uh, sprinkler line running right down here to the sprinkler head, and you can see they're all elevated. Uh, so it allows them to reach up higher. Uh, what we don't need is just to sprinkle the roots. Um, we need to make sure that we get the tops of these trees um, right up to where all the fruit is. So um, there's a, a mulberry there, and uh, right there is a um, is a plum tree. And uh, that plum tree had a lot of flowers on it, and uh, now it's the flowers are almost all gone because it has been pollinated by the bees, and there's baby fruit on there, and I'll show you that too. So this is the uh, plum. You can see we've got flowers, and uh, a lot of these little guys here have been pollinated, so um, flowers have fallen off. But they will become plums if I can keep them from freezing. Right there, that's that's got a little bulge right there. That's going to become a pear, and this is just little baby fruit that's just been pollinated. And what I need to do is uh, spray these guys down so that we can save it and keep it from getting frostbite and dying. There it is. It's uh, three in the morning, and. Uh, I'm out here spraying my fruit Well, it's morning um, and the uh, sun is just coming up 
and uh, we were out here spraying last night. You can see the trees and my blossoms there for the peaches. This is a pear tree. This is an Asian pear right here. And you can see these little guys right there um, are already pollinated. The flowers are off. Um, and you can see right here, that's actually uh, ice on the leaf there. And uh, be careful when you're walking, <laughs> walking down through here because uh, the ground is all got a fine cover of ice on it from uh, being soaked. So it is pretty Peach. slippery. These are peaches that would otherwise be dead right now from uh, it being 25 degrees outside. Make sure you get out here um, if you're doing this and make sure you get out and start spraying before it gets to be below 32. Because uh, water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, one of the issues I had was that uh, I had not gotten out here quick enough, and um, I couldn't get any water through the sprayer down uh, on one of the lower berms, and uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we're going to have lost an entire plum tree of plums this year. Um, because I didn't get out here fast enough. Sun's just coming up. It is um, 27 degrees, so it's still well below freezing, but uh, this is a blueberry that uh, gets sprayed last night. So the, uh, the blueberry leaves and buds um, are all at 32 degrees instead of uh, 27 degrees, so with any luck, we've saved this fruit. This is ice hanging down here, right there. And um, that is what's keeping this plant from getting down to 25 degrees earlier, um, a low. And uh, right now it is maintaining a constant 32. So this is a, you know, a frozen blossom right now and frozen leaves. Um, but it's just staying right at 32 degrees because the ice is protecting it from getting any see colder. We got a lot of trees that we sprayed last night, and uh, hopefully we'll save them. We'll see. We'll give it some time. Okay, it's now 40 degrees, so uh, the ice has melted off of these leaves, and it looks like they're going to be okay. I won't know right away, we'll know in a few days, but uh, in any case, um, we might have squeaked by here, and uh, I will be uh, most likely having to do this again tonight because we're looking at another, another freeze tonight at uh, oh, about 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'll, uh, I'll be out here working on it again, see if we can save the fruit, and then uh, later on in the week it should start warming up again so hopefully we'll get through this and uh, we'll have uh, an abundance of, uh, of fruit like we have every year here in the secret garden of survival.